How did you two meet? Well, Amy had fallen off the platform of the B train. And oh my this, God. And the train was rolling into the station yeah. and caught on fire. Excuse me. Wait. No, it's not true. We met on the internet. What happened? She kicked me out, man. So go home. Is that Daryl? Amy's the best. Mm-hmm. She is. Daryl and I have been working together for years. Let's loosen it up. Dude, I was gonna bite me. Somebody stop oh, him. Oh, you guys are like a married couple. I cannot afford two editors. We're a team. Use your wet nurse. We complement each other. Well, you have to just let me know exactly what line you want replaced. I emailed this all to you. Yeah, I didn't get it. Have you ever been dumped? I actually haven't. I think I tend to date women who are... Uh... Beneath you so they won't dump you. I wouldn't use the word beneath me. You're not friends with her, okay? I know you think you are, but Jamie Kirkland and you are not friends. It's weird, I've never had anyone like that be kind of interested in me before. Let me be your conscience for a sec. Do it. I would definitely do it. I just feel like we have one life. Like there's only one spin on this merry-go-round. And then that's it. Fade to black forever. And if so, then what we're talking about here essentially is a victimless crime. What if this is God testing you? Maybe this is God rewarding me. You guys have been dating for like four months. And it's going really well. It's not going really well. Objectively speaking, it's going terribly. I want what you guys have. What you see of me and Amy is an illusion. Oh my God. It's an illusion that couples create when a third party enters the room. As much as we fight, do you really think that we should be getting married? Yes! All I wanted to do was make a movie about my ex-girlfriend. Now she's dead. Really? Dead to me.